You are listening to KLJX Flagstaff from Northern Arizona University. My name is Emma Kiter, and I'm here today with Jake and Danny from Greta Van Fleet. Thanks for coming on the show. How are you guys? Hey, how are you? Good. All right. So just to start, uh, I just wanted to say I actually saw you guys perform live in Ferndale, Michigan at the Riffs Free Show, if you remember. Um, it was a great performance. So I had to get you guys on my DJ shift at my college. Man, that was a long time ago. Oh, right. It wasn't that long ago. It was like in July or August, actually. Feels like but forever. <laughs> for you guys, it must feel like forever. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it was funny because I was actually on my way to Frankenmuth, where you are from. I have family in Michigan, and we were doing some shopping there, and uh, we just heard about the show on the radio, so it just all worked out in a weird way, and I'm glad I got to go. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> right? Okay. So, uh, to begin with, I just wanted, uh, for the audience listening, how did the band get together? Well, that was kind of uh, something that happened over a period of time, and it was wasn't so consistent um it started it sort of started out where <clears throat> where I, I was in high school before um and i had been bringing a buddy over to play drums and slowly josh would come out and start singing and then we finally got sam out and after a while Danny came into the equation and, and took the drums over and, and it's been that sort of that arrangement for about five years now Right. That's awesome. So you started in high school, right? Yeah. 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 So since uh, you started in high school, how do you think has the evolution of the band sound developed since then? That's matured quite a bit. You're right. Yeah. I think that was one of the strategies of placing uh, Highway Tune as the sig- single of the EP mm-hmm. and uh, naming it Black Smoke Rising because it, it shows the difference. Black Smoke Rising was is the most contemporary, or was the most contemporary at the time. And then Highway Tune dates back to, what, what, five years ago? Yeah, it was like one of the very first songs that we'd ever written together. Right. Awesome. Uh, You definitely have a great rock sound. Everyone's been talking about you. Uh, Do you feel like you're under any pressure to make rock music popular again? No, I don't think that that is... Sort of, sort of in our radar because it's not really our intention, you know. It's only to make mm-hmm. the best music that we can. And um, I think that because rock and roll, that genre, as it must be classified, is it, it speaks very. It's very truthful. So I mean, the, the, I think we're in need of that musically now, anyway. You know, to have something that speaks that truth. Right. That's perfect. Um, and you guys just played your first overseas show in London. Uh, how was that? What was the city like? It was very, very fun, yeah. funny, energetic. It was, it was sexy, man. Very sexy. <laughs> it, it, it was cool because they placed us in the uh, small, iconic bars and um, little pubs there, and yeah. I think that brought us all back to the days when we started out in this band. And I think we all took that feeling and captured that energy and put it into those shows, and it was just so much fun yeah there's videos on social media and everywhere and just kind of I, I looked at it and went wow well, it's like we're actually having fun you know, yeah. some enter- some high energy shows those are fantastic yeah for sure what were the people like there oh great yeah, yeah. and I think that they were very receptive of what we were doing as well that was very really cool to see yeah I remember lying in bed the very first day before the show and I was like you know very antsy because I did not know what the reaction would be but I yeah. wasn't really surprised <laughs> wow okay well yeah it took you guys only traveled there in a day right and then you played the next yeah. day yeah yeah Yeah. were you exhausted or how did that go or were you just really excited no we were advised to try to stay on uh, the Michigan schedule or at least oh, okay. the East Coast schedule is uh as well as we could, which meant stay up and then get up earlier in the morning, mm-hmm. or get up later in the morning, you know, get as yeah. much sleep as you can. We were probably waking up around 3 p.m. We were only there for, like, four days. Yeah. Oh, you were? You were there for four days? Well, what did you do the yeah, other days four. when you were there? We had two shows there, so that's okay. two of the days. Yeah. And then half half of some of the days were uh, travel. And oh, then, okay. So we really didn't get <laughs> to, whole, to do a whole lot. A lot of, you know, we did a lot of press, too. Our tour, our tour of all of the 
you know, points to hit was just in a car driving through while we had some time, you know? Yeah. It was cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what has been the hardest thing about touring and being on the road so far? Because you guys are, do you have a show tomorrow? Yes. I believe we do have yeah. a show tomorrow. Yep, we do. <laughs> yes, what has been the hardest thing about, you know, just traveling in general? I think it's the sort of the rigor, and um, it's right. certainly easier enough now that we have the amenities and ability to get some sleep because we have a bus which is upgraded. But um, mm -hmm. I think the only struggle that we ever faced in touring was travel, you know, at yeah. times. Yeah. And now it's kind of been eliminated. But, yeah, for us, I, I, I can honestly say I don't think that we've had much struggle at all touring. You know, I That's think we're good. Capable of doing it, you know? yeah. Awesome. Well, what has been the best thing about it then? <laughs> All of so, it. <laughs> I would imagine, yeah. Definitely. Uh, just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I love headlining shows because mm -hmm. you know that everyone out there is, it understands what you're doing. And there's they're, they're generally great crowds. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain amount of comfortability that you have getting on the stage and performing at your exactly. potential. Yeah, because, of course. You know, they, they, they're there to hear something new. And of course, the song's off the EP, so it's, yeah, it's fantastic. And not having a single worry in the world, you know, because of this bus and, you know, the crew that we have. Oh, yeah, that's I great. think it just makes the shows the best part of it, which is great, because that is supposed to be the yeah, best there, part of there's it. Yeah, there's the answer to your question, Emma. Especially <laughs> being around the bush, it's the shows that are the best, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. It has to be. Uh, so, with that being said, since you're traveling a lot, how have your relationships with friends and family changed since your record deal and touring? Well, we see everyone a, a lot less. Right. So, I mean, that perspective. I mean, it's. It, I think it's just like, you know, trying to stay in touch with, you know, friends and, you know, talk to family as much as we can while we have free time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We meet a lot of people out on the road, too. Oh, so yeah, awesome. for sure. Um, so, ha I know one of you is 18, right? Danny, you're 18? I am 18. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... I was wondering, do your parents, like, come and support you guys on tour? Do they travel with you? Um, mine je definitely are very supportive. Yeah. Uh, I'll just throw that down. <laughs> um, they both have jobs, so that, you know, it's hard for them to get out to mm -hmm. a lot of shows. But every chance they get, they will make it out to a show. They've, they've driven um, out of state to come see us a couple times, and I don't see that ever stopping them. I think as soon as they get my uh, younger sister through college, they're going to start following us around more, which I definitely encourage. Right, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, how yeah. have your both of your parents been supportive or helped you through this journey so far? Well, my father's a teacher. Oh, okay. And he's, uh, he's okay with me not going to college, so there's that kind of thing. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> but, uh, no, they both, they both understand that as parents, no matter what they're child's passion is they recognize it and they help them achieve it and that's ultimately the best thing that the most humbling thing a child could ever endure right you know? mm -hmm. that's great uh how supportive has frankenmuth been with the band like is there any music venues there you know there is a little town hall in the center it's called fisher hall it would be probably the only venue there oh, okay um but it's probably one of the most uh one of the most supportive communities I don't know. I mean, it's. I don't think that we'd be here doing what we do now if you know we didn't have that sort of support on a mass scale from our community. The thing is, is it's a very tight knit community, and it it's very influential when it comes to art. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of um, art displays when it, that comes in town, which surprises you know, which is surprising. So they're very they're very pushing for. You know, when it comes to that stuff, they're and you know they can hold their hometown boys yeah, up. Exactly. Oh yeah, they're so proud. I'm sure. <laughs> Everyone who comes out of Frankenmuth. Oh yeah. When uh when was That's your good about Frank. oh right uh where was your first headlining show at? This on um, this tour. Yeah, or just in general, I guess. Or what would you consider your first headlining show to be? That's a tough question. Because a lot of the old shows that we played in smaller clubs were headlining shows. Oh, okay, okay. Spectacular. I would say as far as a crowd goes, probably the Viper Room. Yeah, the, I think maybe the Viper Room and 
Oh, okay. In, in LA. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, and that was a huge. That's one where it was like really officially treated as a headlining show, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that would have been really fun, too. Um, you been there, Emma. I know. There. Honestly, <laughs> like, I've done it before. I've traveled to L.A. to see a band live, but I couldn't do it because I think I had school or something, and, you know, college is pretty uh, demanding. <laughs> so uh, couldn't yeah. do it. But if you guys should definitely come to Flagstaff. Like, that's where I am. Um, there's a bunch of music venues here, and we'd love to have you. That would be awesome, right? All right? So, um... I was also going to ask, since we are a college station, uh, students here, like all colleges, always get asked, what are you majoring in? So if you were in college right now, what would you major in? Probably biological research of some sort. Oh, okay. World dominance via music. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It is now. Oh, my God. I know. Well, we could yeah, probably we could probably fit you guys at NAU somewhere. I, I would probably study uh, musical engineering. Ooh, that would be really Not interesting. I, would, I probably would be. Yeah, that would be really cool. Um, I've also seen some of your videos of acoustic performances, and I noticed that many of you are really versatile in playing instruments. Like Danny, you play the drums, but you can also play guitar, and Sam can play the bass, but he can also play guitar. So... What were the first instruments you started to play, and why did you choose the one you're currently playing in the band over others? First instrument I picked up was a guitar. Okay. I think that was just because I, I was surrounded by a lot of guitar in my childhood. Mm-hmm. And I just you know, felt like that, that was the easiest way to get going. Um, and then I was uh, kind of brought up with the drums when um, my parents noticed that I liked playing music and they just decided that they'd make a really cool music room in the basement so they bought a set of drums from my uh, aunts and uncle um, and you know I kind of just picked kind on it picked up picked it up myself and then uh, there were, there was kind of an opening when I saw that I knew three other people that played instruments as well and it, that would give me a chance to at least play a full band and it just so happened that the only one out at times drums so I just started playing the drums with them and then I realized that I liked the drums a Mm -hmm. lot more than guitar (laughs) (laughs) right now that's awesome and Jake did you just start playing the guitar yeah I grew up playing the guitar at a very young age okay Uh, you know maybe maybe three or so Mm -hmm. um and then yeah I guess I guess suppose that was like my my passion that was my tool of communicating so I I stuck with it, and um, there's so many different things, you know, you can do with guitar, and uh, sure. multiple tunings, and just mm-hmm. slide work, and so many different guitars, and so many different approaches to it, so it's such a, it's a, really such a limitless instrument that I, I can't get bored with it. <laughs> yep, that's great, then you know you're doing, you know, something right. Uh, I was going to ask you too, Jake, are you as good as a singer as your brother, since you're twins? Mm-hmm. I have the same vocal cords, but I'm not, not as good as a singer. Oh, okay, I'm sure. I'm sure you are. Can we expect any vocals from you in the next album, or your uh, first no, album, no, actually? No, in the next one, backup vocals, though. So. Okay, okay, that's good. All yeah. right. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> that for sure. Okay. I'm more vocal indignation, <laughs> more dignity. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I was going to ask you, too, was there, like, a certain point where you knew that this is exactly what you wanted to do and you were just on the right path? I think the first time that we, the first time that we all kind of got together and, and played together for the very first time and it just kind of blew up, you know, and it was like, all right, mm-hmm. we knew it we became serious at that work. point. Yeah, at that very moment, it, it could work. Yeah. We were all on the same page. We could make it work. Yeah, that's awesome just to see it come together. All right, so I have one more question for you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, This is pretty simple, but feel free to get as complex as you want. What do you love about music, or more specifically, rock and roll? I think it's limitlessness. Uh, I think it's lack of, of sort of boundaries, which is like, you know, lack of rules. Okay, so... Breaking all of those, that's, that's, you know, that's part of it. I think, like, and I think, like we said earlier, I mean, like, there's something about, in particular, rock and roll, 
that there's, a, there's some special truth to, you know, that there's an element of that that just doesn't lie. And I think that 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 speaks to us the most, you know, like when you're listening to it, it's nice not to feel like you're being lied to to a certain degree, but for me anyway. Yeah, definitely. I think music is just one of those very few things that actually can influence history and like people honestly people evolving based on the music that they're um exposed to growing up right that's really 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 cool and i really love to be a part of that yeah i i think it's true freedom really i mean that that's what it it boils down to that's perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jake and Danny. Uh, this interview was awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are doing great. And I cannot wait to hear your first album. When do you expect for it to come out? Well, hopefully, like, before, like, uh, the end of the year or early next year. Yeah, it'll probably be early 2018. Okay, awesome. Well, I'll be playing it on KLJX Flagstaff, so... Hell yeah. Oh yeah, it'll be there. So I'm super excited. And you guys will do another tour, I'm assuming, after that is released. Hell yeah. We have oh yeah. Already. Sweet. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys perform again. Yeah. All right. Well thank you so much. Oh.